Hey, what's up guys? Haven't done one of these in a little while, but I thought I'd give you guys a quick update to it. Just kind of been busy working on, well, that thing for most of the winter, but uh, thought I'd give you an update on this to the uh, the E85 test. Um, someone asked a while back, um, can you throw a piece of rubber in there just to see if it'll test? So I did. Uh, that was back on, let's see if I can get this on here. Uh, there you go. All right, so that's the original date. Uh, 8-16-08 was when I put this ethanol and the piece of steel and aluminum in here. The rubber I added, 9-14-17. Uh, so let's take a look. Let's see what it looks like. Let me see if I can set this guy down here. We can kind of go through some of this. So, uh, been in here for a while, obviously. Uh, this is just some regular old rubber. I mean, nothing too fancy here. Uh, all right, well, I mean, the fluid line's about halfway, yeah, maybe a little bit further down, right? A um, little bit of a difference. Yeah, actually, I don't know if you guys can see this on the camera. I'm going to try to get it up close here, but uh, yeah, it's stiffer. Uh, it's definitely more solid than it is down here. Down here, it's still nice and supple, you know, not being completely submerged. Still in the fumes, of course, but uh, yeah, it's definitely stiffer. But the good thing is, is, uh, you know, it is still fairly, fairly soft anyway. Uh, I'm also noticing, you know, there's no cracks or anything like that, nor is there really anything uh, rubber-wise. I mean, it looks about like it did a year ago when, you know, when we did this other uh, opening up of this jar. But uh, still looks good, still looks basically the same. Let's see if there's any major, major differences to the, uh, the steel and the aluminum here. Let's see, no, still looks about like it did before, you know, some kind of basic surface rust, I would say. Um, nothing really that I could say that it's eating it away by any means. Let's see what the aluminum looks like. And again, guys, for those of you that haven't seen the other video, uh, this is uh, just a piece of aluminum sheet metal from, you know, nothing more than just getting some from uh, from Home Depot. But um, looks good. It's definitely not eating it away. I would definitely say that. In fact, I don't even, I don't even think the oxidation level is even off of here, nor is uh, anything really too bad from where I cut it. I mean, obviously there's little bit of jelly that had happened in here, probably just from, you know, kind of sitting for so darn long all these years, but otherwise it doesn't look too bad. I mean, I certainly wouldn't want to run that in a car or something, but, you know, we're talking, what, 10 years now. Good grief. But I uh, thought I'd give you guys an update on this, and uh, thank you for the uh, suggestion on adding the rubber to this. I thought that was a great idea, and I said, hey, that guy's got a good idea. It was one of you that commented. Uh, we do love the comments. We love all that stuff, so keep them coming, and uh, we'll keep making these silly little videos. All right, see ya.